but I find. Great, great. Um, good, glad you're here. Where are you from? <clears throat> Um, I am from the United States. Yes, what's the state? Um, well, I'm from Minnesota, um, but I live in New York. Ah, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, good. So, definitely, um, definitely good. And you're from, oh, you told me yesterday, you're from Colombia? Yeah. No, I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. Oh, darn. I knew I was, that was my second guess. <laughs> um, great. Well, glad you're here. Um, Carolina, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Good, good. Back for more English time. Good. Glad you're here. And Matus? Yes, hello. Or Matthews? Matthews. <laughs> Matthews. Matthews. Okay, great. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Um, and where are you from? <clears throat> I'm from Poland. From Poland. Okay, great. Wonderful. Matthews. Um, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Well, so we should have a few more people join. Um, this is grammar practice. Um, and we'll be using a worksheet. Uh, we'll go through a worksheet together um, to practice the grammar of past tense modals. Um, so modals are words in English, little words in English that carry special meaning um, and they can be kind of tricky, a tricky area of grammar. Um, so today we'll be focusing all on modals in the past. Um, so that is our topic. Um, if there are any questions at any time, please feel free to ask. Um, and uh, I guess that's about all I have to say. I'm going to post the links, the link in the chats. So there's a link to the worksheet if you need it. Um, I'll also share the worksheet. Um, <clears throat> I guess one other thing, this is a two-part class. So we'll start in this hour and then finish next hour. Um, and it's okay if you are only here for this hour. That's fine. But if you want more, we'll continue next hour. Um, all right. So with that, let's get started. Um, past tense modals. We're going to start with a... We've got a quick and handy grammar review. Um, I'm just going to read this. Uh, may not read all of it, but we'll get to the important points. Um, okay, so um, the modal form takes on special significance in the past tense. Um, the categories of necessity, ability, possibility, probability, certainty, repeated action, and advisability all use auxiliaries to express their meaning. Um, so auxiliaries like have. Um, and permission is not used because there are no past tense requests. So one less modal to deal with. Um, so here are the main modals we'll be working with. Um, for necessity in the past, we'll be using verb. <clears throat> so for example, John had to cook dinner for the family. Yasmin had to watch her baby brother last evening. 
Okay, so we'll use had to um, to express necessity or need requirement in the past. Um, that area is pretty easy. Um, for ability in the past, we have two choices. You can use could or was able to plus the base verb. Um, and we use modals of past tense ability on two occasions um, to tell the age uh oh. Um, to tell the age or time when we had the ability to do something. So I could swim when I was six. Uh, or to talk about a skill that we had in the past that perhaps we no longer have. Um, when I was 16, I could run six miles without stopping. Um, Okay, so that's could, was able to has a little bit of a different meaning. Um, it means succeeded in. Um, and it's used for specific occasions. So one-time situations. Um, I was able to get a... Main Street. Okay, um, both could and was able to are followed by the base verb, which is just the verb without the to, the infinitive without the to. Um, I'm going to pause here. Any questions so far? Great, and maybe I'll get some of you to help with the reading. Um, uh, let's see. So our third modal in, in the past um, is to talk about repeated action in the past, repeated or habitual. So this would be used to or would. is no longer performed um, and you can alternate between used to and would. So here's the example. Let me see. Do I have a volunteer that would like to read this example? Me. Sure. Thank you, Helbert. Go ahead. Keep the action in the past or Yeah, just read this highlighted part right here, the example. Okay. When I was eight, I used to ride my bike home from school with my friends. You would ride three miles in about 20 minutes. I used to stop at my friend Jack's house on the way. His mother would bake cooks or cakes every afternoon. So I used to have a snake with them before I continued on my way home. This cook would test so good. Great. Thank you, Helbert. Um, excellent. So we see lots of examples of past tense modals here talking about things in the past. Um, used to, so this happened maybe a couple times a week. Um, great. Great. Thank you. All right, so that's repeated actions in the past. Um, then we have advisability in the past, or think of advice. Um, and this is should have plus the past participle. Um, so <laughs> this is advice given after the fact. Um, so talking about things in the past and how they could be different. Um, so <coughs> um, if you had a choice between a fast food restaurant and a diner, and you chose the fast food place, but then you got sick, your friend can confidently advise you, 
you should have eaten in the diner. Um, all right, so should have is the modal, and then use it with the past participle. Um, all right, let's got some examples. Matthias? Yes? Yeah, would you read those examples for us? Uh, yes. Lisa should have taken Spanish instead of German. About should have gone to Montreal on vacation. Diane shouldn't have gone to the Midtownland dinner. George should have finished his paper yesterday. Great, excellent. Um, great, so should have, that's our modal for advice about the past. Um, and then our last modals are about possibility, probability, and certainty in the past. And they are may have, could have, might have, um, and plus the past participle. Um, those are for possibility or probability. And then we have must have plus the past participle. Um, and that is for certainty. Um, so when you talk about what might have happened or probably happened, we can use might have, could have. Um, and if we're certain, we'll use must have. <clears throat> OK, so that went on a bit longer than I meant. But here's a nice summary chart. This has all the modals um, by the function. Um, and it has examples as well. So refer back to this chart if you need uh, reminders. But we're going to go through. Um, and we're going to start with just identifying the meaning of these modals. So when it's your turn, you'll read the modal. And you're thinking, did you do it or didn't you do it? Okay. So if you should have done something, did you do it or didn't do it or maybe you did it? Does that make sense? Um, all right. So, Halberth, how, how about you? Will you start with number one for us? Should have a genie. Did it, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, sorry. So, should have. If we use should have in a sentence, um, for example, um, Bob should have called his mom on her birthday. So, did Bob call his mom on her birthday? Okay. Okay, but in this sentence, so look okay. at this sentence. Bob should have called his mom on her birthday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Oh, okay, okay, great. So, oops, let's go back. Okay. Um, I should have bought a new car. Good. So, did you buy the new car or didn't do it? Did it. All right. Um, sorry, this is a kind of a confusing exercise. Um, so with the with the modal should have, when you see the modal should have, does that mean the person did it or didn't do it? Or maybe they did it? Depends. Depends of the situation. Okay. Um, I, yeah, go ahead. I should have bought a new car. Can be did it or didn't do it. Okay. But if you say <clears throat> if you say I should have bought a new car, 
That means you did not buy a new car. Right? Because should have is about advice in the past. Ah, okay. Right? So what what you should have done, not what happened, but what should have happened. Ah, yes, yes. I didn't do it. Good, yes. Yeah. So should have, whenever you hear should have, it means the subject didn't do it. Um, great, thank you, Halbert. <clears throat> uh, Matthias, number two. Uh, could have. Mm, it is possibility, so maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and let's look at um, let's just look at a couple of examples. So could have. What did you say? You said it was possibility. Possibility, yep. So here it is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he could have gone to the cafeteria. We don't know. He Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. So maybe. Very good. Oops. Trying to highlight better. Great, maybe. Um, all right, so Halberth, uh, number three. Okay, I had to... It stood more English. Good, good. And so did it or didn't do it or maybe? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You had to, but we don't know if you did or not. Good. All right, Matthias, four? May have. Uh, I guess maybe two. <laughs> Yep, definitely. So all those possibility ones will be maybe. Great. Uh, Helbert, five. I use it to... to... ability for skills. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we can look at an example too. Um, oh, this is repeated action. <clears throat> used to is for repeated action. So, Greta used to live in Prague. Oh, yes, yes. So is that did it or didn't do it or maybe? Did it. Yep, definitely. Great. Excellent. Uh, Matthias, number six. Cool. Mm. It is uh, maybe. Or, yeah. or did it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's ability. <laughs> Yeah, that one, let's look at it. So we've got could, just could all by itself, not could have. Um, could plus the base verb, I could cook. Yeah, when it's ability, it looks like it will be did, did it, did, yeah. So I could swim when I was nine, I could run 10 miles when I was young. Yeah, did it. Okay. <clears throat> Good, thanks, Matthias. Uh, Helberth, number seven. I would, I would buy a new flat. Good. And will that be did it, didn't do it, or maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Um, it, if it was in the present tense, it would be maybe. Um, uh, but I it, did it. Oh, oh, I did. No? Yeah, oh. yeah. When it's in the past tense, then it's did it for sure. Great. Uh, Matthias, number eight. Couldn't have. Didn't do it. Um, I think so. Couldn't have. Although, 
Yeah, so impossibility definitely didn't do it. Great. All right, Halbert, nine. I could have a nice, a nice house. I did it. No, I made it. Good, yeah, could have. So could have is the, again, the possibility. It's maybe. So maybe. Mm -hmm. Great, excellent. Thank you, Albert. And the last one, Matthias? Shouldn't have. It's maybe too. Mm -hmm. Maybe as well. Let's see. So it's advisability or past, advice in the past. Let's see. So um, if I say I shouldn't have dropped my phone, did I drop my phone or not drop my phone? I don't know. Or maybe. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Good. Good. So this is where it's tricky. Um, with should have and shouldn't have, it's always going to be opposite. This is advice. So if I say I shouldn't have, here I'm going to type while I say it, just so you can see. So if I say, I shouldn't have dropped my phone, that means I did drop my phone. Um, I dropped my phone, but I wish I didn't. What do mean the, the verb drop it, teacher? Drop is to um, let go of or to fall when you're holding something and it falls from your hand you drop it ah yes yes yeah good so if if you shouldn't have done something that means you you did it but you regret it okay I regret it yeah you you did it but you wish you didn't or you regret it um Good, so we'll keep an eye on that as we continue. So that was just a warm-up to get us familiar with the ideas, so let's continue. Um, this is a fill-in-the-blank. So when it's your turn, read the sentence and fill in the blank with one of the choices. Um, so I mean, I'll do number one just for example. I went to an Italian restaurant. It was good, but I... Um, good go. I would rather have gone to an Indian place. Good. So, and then uh, when you say your answer, I'll type it. Would rather have gone. This one is would rather have gone. Okay, so number two, um, let's see, Matthias, will you start us off this time? Thomas can't believe it. He broke both hands when he slipped on the ice. His boxing career is over. Now he walks around saying... <laughs> I could have been a contender. Exactly. Um, and this is actually a famous quote, I think, from Rocky or something. I don't know. <laughs> from a movie. Um, but what, good, does yeah. it, what does it mean, contender? I, I don't know this word. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty uncommon word. Contender is someone in a competition. So in a boxing match, there are two contenders. Um, yeah, so someone in a fight or competition with someone else. One on one, or the teams are contenders too. Um, usually one on one. Okay. Yeah, one on one. Good. Good question. 
Um, great, yeah, and it's could have because it's in the past. If it was present, it would be could be. Great. All right, Helbert, number three. Mean friends, me friend Toshiko was in the hospital. He didn't know, so he didn't visit her. Toshiko was very sad. No mean says. I should have visited her. Great. Yes, excellent. Let me just make this a little bigger so we can see. Good. I should have visited her. Good. Excellent. Yep, if she was still in the hospital, we could say I should visit her, but she is not in the hospital anymore. Um, great. Number four, Matthias. Yumi is a great swimmer. In fact, she could swim when she was only four years old. Great. Could swim. Could plus the base verb. Very good. All right, Halbert, number five. Josie couldn't go to the game because she she had to study. Perfect. Yep. Excellent. Requirement. Oops. Or obligation. Great. Number six. Who was the guy at the party last night? I don't know. Might have been Pepita's new boyfriend. Great, yep, so that's possibility. Good, Helbert, seven. When Priscilla was 11 years old, she used to live in Brazil. Good, good. Used to, and we pronounce the U in that. Uh, used to, almost like the word you. Used to live. Right, Matthias, number eight. You pronounce it use, use. Uh, use. 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 Used. Actually, it gets kind of like a T at the end. It sounds like a T, so used to. Used to. Yeah, in fact, this, in fluent spoken English, this might sound like she used to live in Brazil. She used I to live in Brazil. Used to live in Brazil. Yeah, it's really fast. Yusta. Um, great. All right. Matthias eights. Yes, the chicken was descent. But Rosa should eat pizza last night. I don't know. Oh, this one is for. Let's see. I'm not sure where this would fit um, with in our chart. Let me just look here. In fact, I don't think it adjusts this would. Ooh. Um, I see why you guessed should. Advisability makes sense, but this one, um, the but here is indicating that chicken wasn't her first choice. Um, and in that case, we we use would rather to talk about um, preference in the past. Ooh. And that's, okay. yeah, that's not in our chart anywhere. In fact, I don't think they use, I don't see them talking about would rather anywhere or would at all. Um, but this one is she would rather have eaten pizza last night. Um, one, one way to tell, whenever um, it'll either be should have, if it's should, it'll be should have. It won't just be should eat. Um, it'll be should have. Um, so that's one way. In the past, should will be with should have, always. 
All right, great. Um, number nine, Helbert. I had such a good time when I lived in Miami. We you would go to the beach every day. Right, great. Would, um, would or used to? They both would be used familiar. to go. It's it's possible. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. In fact, why they put both of those as choices, um, but this would be where they're interchangeable. Um, would go or used to go for the repeated action. So, correct. Very good. And the last one, Matthias. Everyone on the team is smiling and laughing. They must have won the game. Yep, and that's for certainty. Um, good. Any questions on any of these sentences? I'd like to to know the rather uh, would rather the num the number eight. Would yeah. Add there. Yeah, and there was another one too. Um, yeah, the yeah. very first one yeah. had that as well. Um, yeah. Would rather have gone. Yeah, it doesn't address that in our. Um, in the grammar section, but let's um, maybe let's just look it up quick on the internet. Um, would rather means prefer. Um, so let if someone asks me, oh, do you want to go eat sushi? I'd say um, I would rather go eat cheeseburgers. Um, let me just do a quick grammar search. We'll pull it up and, and look it up. Um, I'm just going to stop the screen share really quick, and I'll share with you what I find about would rather. Um, I, there is a lesson that I do on Verbling with a game called Would You Rather? where we have to say what we prefer out of two options. Um, so here's, well, this is in the present tense, um, but rather means prefer. So, for example, we'd rather go on Monday means we'd prefer to go on Monday. Um, and then when it's with have, then it's in the past tense. I would rather have eaten chicken. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so rather just means prefer. It's a, This is a modal structure, so it'll always have that, the would structure, would rather. Um, we'll see if it comes up again as we keep going through the exercises. Um, all right, nice work on that one. Um, the next one, I want to give a, let's see, kind of a range of practice. We have a lot of multiple choice fill in the blank, in fact, most of these. Um, so let's do at least one more of those. Um, go to the next one. So same idea, read the sentence, fill in the blank. Um, and I forgot whose turn it is, so uh, Matiush, will you start us off? Uh, Paula? Uh, she used to work for the furniture store, but she doesn't anymore. Right, good, yep. Uh, the nice thing about modals is they're the same form no matter who the subject is. So whether it's I or you or he or she, it's always used to. Um, good. Halberth, number two. Uh, 
Uh oh. Halbert? I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> no problem. I, I can't believe you they didn't get home until 6 o'clock a.m. Mom was so worried. You should have called. Good, you call it. Should have call it. called it. Called. Called. Right, right. So, yep, you should have called. So you didn't call, and that's why mom was worried. You should have called. Past advice. Uh, great. Is, isn't that Gloria Jacket? Yes, it is. She must have left it here when she ran out of class. Good. Yep, so certainty. This one is like taking a guess about something in the past. Um, she must have left. So you're guessing, you're, you're pretty certain. Um, great. Helbert, number four. When we visit my aunt's house when I was a kid, she, she would have baked chocolate chip cooks for us. Oh, this is, um, okay, so would have baked. baked. Okay, this is a tricky one. So most of these do use have. Um, so looking back at our chart, almost all of them have have. So may have, might have, could have. Um, but with would for repeated actions, there's no have. Um, so we do use would have in other situations, um, mostly the third conditional. But would the modal for repeated actions in the past will not have have. <laughs> um, confusing. So this one will actually be would bake. Would bake. Um, okay. Yeah, that one's hard to explain why, but with with past habits, we have used to or would. No have. Okay. Uh, great. Thank you. Uh, Matthias, how about yes. number five? I can't believe you called hi, Anne, about the party. Didn't you know that it was a sub surprise? You should not have called. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You shouldn't have called. You did, but I wish you didn't. You shouldn't have. Great. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, Halbert, six. Who left that book on the desk? I don't know. It could be Pavel. It could be. Good. Um, let's see. So this is possibility, right? Let's look back at our chart for possibility. Um, for possibility, we need could, could have. have. Yeah, could have, might have, or may have. Could have, might have, may have. So... We can't do it could be. Should have. Should have? I see. Um, well, that would be for, like, advice. Should have been. Um, I think you're right that it's a possibility. Let's look at the possibility again. Um, so here are the three for possibility. I may have, may, may, might have. Yeah, I think that's definitely right. Might have. Um, might have been. Yeah, there it is. Might have been. If it was could have been, um, that would have been right, but it's might have been. Um, great. Very nice, Albert. Thank you. Matthias, number seven. When I was 15, I... It's ability, so it could be C or D. Could mm -hmm. run or was able to run. 
Uh, was Able Run is missing something. Okay, so <laughs> could run. Yeah, Maybe very good. Without stopping, now I can't uh, even run one mile. Good, could run. And what's missing from Was Able? Uh, this is missing the preposition to. Was able to okay. run. Yeah. Good. All right. Next. Next up, Helbert. I got a ticket for driving night six in a fifty-five zone. You should drive so fast. You should drive so fast? Yes. Okay. Um, well, that's telling you that uh, if I say you should drive so fast, it means I want you to drive very fast. But I couldn't drive. Um, well, not couldn't, because that's ability. He has the ability. I got a ticket, so I have the ability. But was it a good idea to drive so fast? Shouldn't have driving. Yeah. Yep. So advice, you shouldn't have driven. Good. So advice in the past. Advice about something in the past. Good. Matthias, number nine. I couldn't. Uh, I heard that Elsa got an A in history, but she um, couldn't have got an A. She failed three different tests. Great. Yep, so it's not possible. She failed three different tests. She couldn't have gotten. Great. And last one, Helbert. I couldn't stay up late last night because I I had to wake up at, at five o'clock this morning. Good, great, great. Um, excellent. So sounds good. Any questions on these ones? No. No. Good. They seem seem like mostly easy. It's just that advice is the confusing one. Um, okay. So we have. Um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, we will do these in the next hour. Certainly, I want to just give a little more variety. So um, let's do one of these. Um, so we have all of these modals in the box. And each of them will fit into one of these sentences and only one. So we use each one once. Um, all right, so let's start off. And Matthias, will you start with number one? Last night I couldn't go out because I had to clean my house. Great. Halbert, number two? When she lived in Seoul, he knew had to ride her bike everywhere. Had no, he should have. Was able to. Good, good. Oh yeah, I think there might be a mistake in the book too. Um, that does make sense. That tells us that she lived close enough to ride her bike to places. Let's leave that for now. Good. Number three, Matthias? When Gina was 12, she used to live on the 37th floor of the building. Good. Oh, okay. So that's used to. Yep, used to. <laughs> Great. Um, four, Halbert? Because my brother-in-law works for Amazon, I... I should have get a discount on TV, on the TV. Oh, good, should have, let's see. All right, um, 
should have, this would be should have gotten. So should have doesn't quite fit. Uh, this is actually going to be, uh, well, let's, uh, I don't want to give away all the answers. Let's keep, keep going. We're going to put this right here, and we'll keep going. We might change some things. Um, so, Matthias, how about number five? Mm, Maria um, shouldn't have gone home. I don't know where she is. Shouldn't have. Okay, that one I'm not super sure on either, but let's keep it here and we'll keep going. Um, Halbert, number six. Adam shouldn't have drunk so much yesterday. She has a, ha a bad headache today. Yeah, great. Yeah. That one fits for sure. <laughs> um, so advice in the past or something that should be different in the past. Um, good, Matthew, seven. Uh, that uh, that couldn't be Marian father. He died last month. Good, yep, that makes sense. All right. And Halbert, number eight. You you couldn't be called me yesterday. I would have gone if you. Okay. All right, and that one doesn't quite fit there. So let's look. We've got um, a couple we're not sure about. Um, and I'm actually going to pull this out too. Let's see. Let's just cross out. We used had to in the first one. Um, I'm certain about used to. Certain about, oops, about shouldn't have. Couldn't be. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got those four we're certain about. Um, we have might have, should have, was able to, and would. We've got was able to here. Um, but we need to use would and might have. Um, so where, let's see. I, you would call it, call, call it number eight. You think would here? Yes, I think. I think in the second uh, should be would, but here uh, here should be was able to. Ah, uh, yeah. So and I think this makes sense in a way, but this means that um, wherever he Yoon lives now, she is not able to ride her bike. So this makes sense, but I don't think it's what we mean in this case. Um, so let's try wood there, like Matthias said. I think that makes sense. It means like used to. Um, oops. So he Yoon, would ride her bike everywhere. OK. Um, so then what? How about number four? What will go in number four? Because my brother works for Amazon, I would get. Oh. Yeah, would could fit there too. Um, if you got it more more than once, you could say I would get discounts on TVs. But you only got a discount once. So I think our best bet here is going to be I was able to. Okay. Remember, this one in the past has the meaning of succeed. I succeeded, or I was able to do something once on a specific occasion. So okay. that fits here. Good. Um, all right, so 
We've got wood. Um, we've got was able to, so we're missing should have, might have. Um, so what do you think for number five? Um, Matthias, what do you think goes for number five? I think should have. <laughs> it's okay for this. Should have gone home? Okay. But we have should have, let's see, we could put it there. Should have gone home. Um, we've used couldn't be, so let's delete that. So this would then be might have. Does that make sense? You might have called me yesterday. I would have gone with you. Yes. Okay. I think we need to switch five and eight. Okay. I think five works best with might have because we're not certain. I don't know where she is. I'm not sure. She might have gone home. Um, so that's kind of possibility. Um, and then with number eight, you should have called me yesterday. Um, I would have gone with you. I'm telling you what you could have done differently in the past, or I'm giving you advice about something in the past. Um, okay, so let's do. Let's wrap it up. Let's do that same activity one more time. So these are all the same ones. Um, so again, think about what's the best fit. There might be a, several options, but um, think about the best fit. And in this one, there will be one term that is used twice. I don't know what that is. So um, Let's see. Uh, Helbert, will you take number one? You. You was able to eat them so much at the party. Okay. Um, and don't forget about the second sentence. That's why you are sick now. Okay, good. So I'm kind of telling you about something you did. Um, so this one, is, this one is going to be, it's not was able to. That's about like being able to in the past. This one needs advice. Someone's giving advice. You, you shouldn't have. Yeah, there we go. Shouldn't have. Good. Um, Matthias, how about number two? When Sam lived in Syria, uh, he used to work in a bank. Great. Excellent. All right. And back to Helberth, number three. James was, was able to walk to work when he lived in Washington. Or who is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, was able to make sense, but again, it emphasizes the ability to walk. So saying wherever he is now, he's not able to walk. Um, so would, if it's just about habitual action in the past. Okay. Um, okay. I'm so okay. happy. I'm so happy. I was able to get an appointment with Dr. New Way Lewis. Good, great. And this is that sense of um, I succeeded in doing something. So one specific occasion. Um, good. All right, Helbert, five. Martha couldn't be taking the key. I don't see it anywhere. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't see it anywhere. I don't know where the key is. So this is like possibility. Um, couldn't be would be impossibility. 
We want one that says it's possible that Marta shouldn't took have the... it. Shouldn't have it. Um, nope, we've already used shouldn't have, and there's no advice here. Just one for possibility. Might have. Yeah, great. Marta might have taken the key. Excellent. Matthias, six. Uh, no. Might have continued working at Carl's restaurant. She used to make a lot of money. Okay. Could be. We do have one that repeats, and I don't know which one it is. So yeah. <laughs> we'll leave that um, and continue. So let's see. Let's just look. We've used shouldn't have. Um, we've used was able to. We've used would. Um, and we've used might have. We've also used used. Okay, so Helberth, number seven. Bob shouldn't have left the party so early. Everyone started to dance after he left. Yeah, great. So I think that's our double. That sounds great. Um, he shouldn't have left. All right. And Matthias, number eight. Mm, that couldn't be Xavier's wife. She now lives in Peru. Good. Good. So we've got couldn't be. All right. And I think for number six, we have one that fits better. Should have. So number six will be should have. Advice for Adele. She should have continued working. She used to make a lot of money. Um, all right. So with that, we're going to stop there. Um, this is a two-part class. So that was the end of part one. Um, if you're coming back for part two, I'll see you in just a minute. If not, that's fine. Um, great work tonight. Um, Bye. Okay. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you and see you. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.